trying to get q-tips because yep okay so hi i can't nails you need to leave get downstairs so i've been asked for this for really long i always said i'd never do it but here i am i'm gonna do my everyday makeup which is usually like pretty natural and it's just not a lot it's just like a warm makeup i don't moisturize my face because i don't take care of my skin i use laura mercier tint moisturizer it's good for me because i have oily skin it just dries up really nice yeah. and i'm just gonna use a flat brush to apply it I don't put a lot because I don't like my skin looking cakey. I basically just put it into even my skin tone because I have a really tan body but a really white face. I don't really put anything in my eyes because I use the tiredness of my eyes as eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so I usually <laughs> end up with too much on my hand because even though I know I don't put a lot of foundation on, I still put a lot on my hand. I'm just going to use that on my neck. I don't want to throw it away. My ears, they always have to be the same color as my face. Then I usually do my eyelashes and I do that before eyeshadow or anything because I usually do that and there's nails, high nails, but I'll curl my lashes. Um, they usually get really curled. I just wait for a little bit so that when I apply mascara, they're not that curled because then I really mess up. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my lashes to go down a little bit, I'll do my eyebrows. Oh, it's so hard to do my eyebrows. <laughs> best mascara ever it's really cheap it's like four euros and it has like this really little uh really little tiny brush which is my favorite i don't like the big brushes for eyelashes because it just looks messy i usually don't really do it at the bottom because i have a lot of lashes and it just makes them look like too much so i just apply it on the top but you guys can see i really mess up so it's good that i don't do anything first <laughs> q-tips because yep I don't like really white concealers because they just make me look more tired and I think it looks worse than orangey concealers it's the only one I brought so I usually don't put it directly on my eyes because I like I said I don't like it to look uh, too cakey so I'll just like put like a little bit here and then just put that on my eyes My natural makeup when I like when I try to like go more for glam it's obviously a lot different then with the same brush that I use for foundation I'm gonna go over it so it looks more orangey meanwhile I'm going on the q-tips um I'm gonna do my lips I use this color pop it's in brunch man and I use this and then I mix it with a lip liner I just put it on the borders like it was a lip liner I just take it off and then I go over that with a floor more lip liner and number two before I finish my eyeshadow and everything because I usually mess up and it falls down and then I have to redo it all again. So I'm going to go wet this with water. I only wet one part and then the other one's dry because this is what I'm going to do. And then I dry it with that so the water doesn't fall and messes up my mascara. And then I'm going to use Naked uh, Palette and Palette. Palette or palette? Oh. Naked palette. And I use cyan and P Devil for my eyes. I'm gonna apply it with this brush. It's gonna look really messy at first, but it's okay because we're gonna blend it. I only do it on the outer corner. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with a fluffy brush. And I have a really good face, so I'm just gonna set it. Last, my favorite step 
up, which is highlighter. I don't use a lot of highlighter because it just looks like too much makeup, but I do love highlighter and inner corner. I love Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess, and I just use the lightest one. It's not really highlighter, but it's enough for me. That's it. It looks like a lot, but it's pretty easy, pretty fast. I do this every day. Okay, that's it. Bye. I love you.